Hey, what's going on, Tack Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New at TW. I got a bunch of stuff today. We got some new, uh, some promo deals going on. We got some early iCast products, some new reels that came out a few months ago. Finally got our first batch, so let's jump right into it. First one, hot deal from Lawrence. So, we're doing a promo deal on a bunch of Lawrence stuff at the moment. There's a couple graphs that, you know, 100 bucks off, there's a couple $200 off, and uh, a bunch of different deals, but we want to talk about one specifically that we're running our promo on. So the Lowrance Elite 9 FS Active Target. So everything that you would need to run Active Target on your boat. So if you're interested in getting a forward-facing sonar, this is a deal you should look into for sure while supplies last. So you're gonna get the uh, Lowrance Elite 9 unit and the Active Target uh, transducer, everything you need to run that forward-facing sonar. But the deal that we got running on this unit specifically it's marked down 250 bucks, so you go into checkout, you're already saving 250 bucks, and it's gonna come with a $200 rebate from Lowrance, and it's also gonna come with a free Daiwa Zillion SV TWG. So I've actually got to test this reel out for a few months. It is one of the most amazing reels I've ever thrown. It's a $350 value, so you're you know just stacking on that savings, getting an awesome reel. I mean, this they can't say enough about this Zillion. I mean, it's got such an awesome braking system, hyperdrive, uh, you know, SV spool in there, or SV boost. You can literally fire a cast of this thing, never thumb the spool, and your bait hits the water and you never backlash. It's simply amazing. Uh, you know, for more information on this stuff, head over to our promo page and you can see all the deals we got going on with Lowrance. Next promo we gotta talk about real quick. So we're doing a promo with P-Line, uh, specifically on the P-Line Ultimate Fluorocarbon the 250 yard spools. So if you buy two or more of any of the 250 yard spools of P-Line Ultimate Fluorocarbon, you're gonna get 50% off. So any pound test, whatever you want, however many you want, you buy two or more, 50% off. I believe this deal ends here in a week or so, so make sure you jump on this one while you can. All right, now let's jump into some new stuff. So we got some new early iCast release stuff. The first one's gonna be from Duo Realis. This first one is the new Rosante. Uh, per topwater bait. This is a really cool little wake bait. Um, something kind of unique. They kind of changed it up a little bit versus some of maybe the older style wake baits that have been out on the market for a long time. There's just a couple little bit, of, you know, little features on here that kind of change this one up. So on this little wake bait, it's a three, you know, uh, three segmented body. So it swims across the surface, got that nice big bill on there. So it's going to wake and just move a lot of water. But what they did here on the joint system, they're actually using uh, ball bearing swivels for their joints instead of a standard hinge. And as you can see, there's a lot of twisting. You can get a lot of twist in this body movement as well. So not only does it, it swim side to side, it actually gets a lot of body roll as well. So just changing up the action a little bit, it's gonna move a lot more water. They've got some really cool colors, as always from Duo Realis. Sticky, sticky sharp, nano coated treble hooks on there. I mean, those things are sharp, sharp. So be careful when you're handling this thing. It's kind of a smaller top water. It's gonna be great for summertime when they're up schooling on fish, but it's also gonna be good for those times when you just want that little bit more downsize profile and not a big massive wake bait. Uh, that's gonna be one that you wanna check out. Something you can add to that that Duo Realis came, to, came out with as well is the new drag metal treble hook. So. This little treble hook, it's got that added uh, willow blade on there. It's attached to a, a, a swivel that's around the shank. So if you wanna dress up your top water, especially the smaller baits, you know, little, little top waters, poppers, jerk baits, spy baits, I think these are where these, that's where this treble hook's really gonna shine because we actually offer them in the smaller sizes. I believe we have them in six, seven, and eight. So they are the smaller sizes. So again, for those smaller type baits, but you know, got that little blade on there. It's actually a dimple blade, so it's gonna produce a lot of flash. Um, super, super sharp, uh, anti-rust, anti corrosion resistant hook on there. So if you wanna dress up like little crankbaits, little jerkbaits, add a little bit of flash, just change up your presentation a little bit. Got those, uh, those drag metal hooks from Duo as well. The next one we got here, is their new, their new stick bait. It's the new uh, Wriggle Stick. Something I'm actually pretty excited to try out. So just to something that's like a sink all alternative, you know, when it's tough, everyone's going down the bank throwing a stick bait or some kind of finesse bait. This is just something that's a little bit different and it, it's got a different look to it. And what it, what it does is throughout the body, there's different sections, there's different ovalized sections that are in uh, crossing form. So not all the ovals are facing the same way. 
And what that's gonna do, it's gonna allow this bait to sink and just catch water at different angles and just provide a phenomenal wiggling action. So they actually made this bait to fish weightless. So if you wanna fish it on like a wacky rig or like a, weighted, or a weightless Texas rig, that's the way to fish this bait. There's a bunch of awesome colors. It's loaded with shrimp scent. As you can see, pretty shiny, pretty greasy bait. So they're gonna bite on this thing and they're not gonna let go. Just something different to try. It's something different than all the other stick baits out there when it's tough, especially if your lakes are getting beat up a lot. A lot of people are out fishing right now. That's something that might get you a few extra bites. All right, another one that we got from Molex. So Molex came out with another new spinner bait. This is the Molex Ventinator uh, Big Blade Spinner Bait. As, as you can see down there, got a giant blade on that, on that spinner bait. This is something I'm actually pretty interested in trying as well. So I like the own big spinner baits, but this thing is super compact for having that big blade on there. They're half ounce in size. Uh, that big blade on there, what that's gonna do for you, it's gonna allow you to do a couple different things. So you can absolutely burn this bait and this thing is gonna you know, thump and flash and it's gonna stay really high in the water column. If you wanna burn a spinner bait, keep it up high, that big blade's gonna help you stay up higher in the, in the water column. But if you wanna slow roll it, you slow roll this thing and that big blade is just gonna thump and it's gonna produce a, a lot of vibration, but you're also gonna get a lot of flash out of it. So it's gonna thump like a Colorado blade, but since it's a willow and it does have that dimpled texture effect to it, you're gonna get a lot of flash as well. So the Colorado blade doesn't really produce as much flash as a willow. With this option, you're kinda of gonna get the best of both worlds out of it. So something I'm super stoked to try out. They got really nice head, head designs on them, kinda of flat sided with a lot of detailing. Down on the skirts, all their skirts are hand tied, really nice skirting material, really sharp OMTD hooks on them, just really well built. You can see they put a lot of time into their frames. It's a tapered wire frame, so thicker down at the head, thinner down at the, at the blade, so you're gonna get a lot of flex, gonna increase the vibration. And you know, they weld and solder everything closed, so you're not gonna have any problems with like your blade, blade flying off during a cast. I don't know how many spinner baits I've casted and come back and I'm missing the blade on there. So just a lot of attention to detail and just something a little bit different uh, I like that heavy vibration. If you want something that's just gonna draw fish in, maybe dirty water situations, or you just want something that's gonna be a little more aggressive than a regular spinner bait. Next one we got here, kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum, going a little finesse with you here. So uh, this is not something new from Z-Man, but it's new to Tackle Warehouse. This is the, the Z-Man Chatterbait Flashback Mini. Uh, actually, a couple of us in the office came across this and we were like, we gotta bring this in. I mean, this tiny little Chatterbait, why not have this thing? So, um, you know, with its size, you would think it's gonna be great for like crappie and uh, bluegill, red ear, uh, any kind of pan fish that are out swimming around that are attacking little fry like this. Um, it's gonna be deadly on that stuff. Uh, especially in the springtime, you know, when, when, when all the fish are moving up to spawn and then you get right around this time of year, you get a lot of bluegill on beds, that's gonna be one you wanna check out. But certain areas, um, especially around our lakes, it's getting super, super tough. So downsizing is definitely the way to go to get a few more bites. And there's, there's been times when people are catching, you know, big 10, 11 pound bass on tiny little baits like this. So something just a little bit different to add in your arsenal if you're looking for something super, super small. Just wanna, you know, you can give this to a kid and probably catch everything in the lake and it'd be super fun to fish. Uh, definitely gonna wanna throw it on a spinning rod, really lightweight. These come in, I think they're eight ounce heads. So in the package, they come rigged up with one little flat tail bait on there. But if you want a little bit more action in the package, there's also a bait with a curl tail on it. So you can kind of change it up if you want a little bit more action, if you want a little bit more subtle action, you can kind of, you can kind of select what you want, but really cool little mini uh, flashback chatter bait there from Z-Man. All right, let's go back to some big stuff here from Magnum Baits. So the, we got this new Magnum Baits uh, Magnum Tube. Now they designed this thing for flipping for big fish. As you can see, it's a giant tube. You're not gonna be throwing this thing, you know, around, you know, for small fish, small mouth, stuff like that. Uh, really cool flipping bait. Uh, just something that's, different than everyone, what everyone's usually throwing. I mean, you go, if you're looking at everyone fishing, 95% of the people are flipping some kind of like craw, creature, you know, beaver style bait. You know, this is something that's gonna give you a big profile, but it's actually, it's also gonna be really subtle. So, you know, you're gonna be able to kind of key in on those bigger bites, but you're not gonna have, you know, a lot of flappers and things going on when you want a, kind of a more subtle presentation if the fishing's tough. Uh, what they did with this magnum tube up at the head, it's actually solid. You can feel it up there. So they poured the head of it solid. 
and they made it to fish on like your oversized EWG style hooks. So the, the rest of the body is hollow, just like a hollow body tube. Uh, they're a traditional tube, so you're gonna get great hookup ratios. They've got some really cool colors. They're loaded down with garlic, so uh, I know a lot of guys like to use these things uh, in the spawn season for flipping on beds and stuff, but if you're just looking for a big flipping bait that probably not a lot of people are utilizing, you know, that big tube profile, really subtle action. I remember uh, this year at the, one of the Major League Fishing events in Texas, I mean, a lot of guys were flipping a tube, flipping those like four and a half inch flipping tubes and catching a lot of big fish, you know, just something that's uh, that I think is kind of a forgotten bait. So check those out from Magnum Baits. Next up here, got a new finesse bait from Net Bait. So we got their new STH Bait Fuel Flat Sided Shad. So they made this thing specifically to fish on a drop shot. So it's got a solid head. You can rig it on any of your favorite little drop shot hooks. It's gonna nose hook on there real nicely. It's gonna be really durable and hold on that hook real well. A lot of nice ribbing down the body and then it tapers down to this really, really subtle tail. So with that, with that tapering on there, with the heavy ribbing, you're gonna move a lot of water. And then that little tail, it doesn't take nearly any movement to get that thing to quiver. And since it's infused with bait fuel, it's already loaded with scent. The um, I mean, bait fuel has been taken off this year. If you haven't seen it already, you need to check it out. So it's already got the bait fuel scent infused in it. So you don't have to keep reapplying scent. It's already in the plastic and it's gonna catch a lot of fish. Um, I feel it, you're gonna be seeing this thing a lot here coming up in the next few months when all the professional circuits swing up north and start going all those smallmouth tournaments up at the St. Lawrence, Mille Lacs and all those places. This is gonna get a lot of time on some Bass Live. Uh, they also come in the clamshell package. So all the worms in there are gonna be perfectly straight and flat. You're not gonna get any that are all kinked up. Uh, you know, this is super soft plastic and it's gonna produce a lot of action for you. All right, last up, we got a couple new things here. So first up, we got a, a whole, we got a whole bunch of new sunglasses from Electric. So we brought in Electric sunglasses. They have a bunch of different frame styles. I believe that these are the Mahis. And we have some more kind of lifestyle frames. What's, what's cool about these is they actually have kind of impact resistant frames on them. So they're gonna be really, really durable. All the, all the lenses are gonna be 100% polarized, uh, polarized lenses. So help you see through all that, that glare on the water. They're gonna cut down different, different layers of light. They have them in a bunch of different colors that are kind of better suited for different situations. So you can go on the website, check out uh, all the descriptions for the different lens colors to kind of see which one is fit in the application that you need. Uh, a couple of the other ones that we got here, we got the stackers, you know, kind of big square frames. If you want that extra coverage of the shield on the side, they got them, but you can actually remove that as well. If you don't want to run that, you can pop it right off and just run the glasses themselves. All the lenses as well have a coating on the outside that's going to help keep the grime and, you know, uh, slime and dirt and stuff from sticking to the lenses, help them keep them cleaner for longer. You don't have to clean them as much and help uh, reduce kind of water spotting and that kind of stuff. So really awesome sunglasses from Electric. We got a few different styles. If you're looking for some new shades for the summer, check those out from Electric. Last up, from Shimano. <laughs> Definitely not, last but not least. So we got the new Shimano Bantam MGLA. This is one of the most awesome reels that's come out in a long, long time. So the Bantam was already a phenomenal reel and they made a few upgrades to it. Um, still, you know, some of the things are the same, that core solid body. So if you're not familiar with the core solid body, you can see it right here. So the body and the palm side side plate are all one piece. So there's no, there's no additional side plate on your palm side. There's no welds, there's no seams or anything. So that solid body is just gonna make this, this whole system more rigid, more durable and have more power. Uh, some of the, one of the things they've added to this reel is the MGL3 spool. So this, the new MGL3 spool is the, is kind of Shimano's newest MGL spool in the lineup. And what, what they're doing is they're reducing the weight in the spool without sacrificing the structural integrity. So lighter startup inertia, you can cast little tiny baits and you can throw big giant baits and have phenomenal casting distance, it doesn't matter. But really it makes a big difference when, especially when you're throwing lighter baits into the wind and stuff like that and you're having problems backlashing. That MGL3 spool is really gonna help reduce that and give you greater casting distance. And then with the bigger baits, since you have less inertia, it's gonna start up faster and you're gonna get even greater casting distance. On the inside, they put the Infinity Drive system in here. So the pinion gear is directly attached to the spool shaft. So just kind of eliminating some tolerance, um, some tolerance issues in there. So 
um, you're gonna have just more direct power. It's double supported with, uh, with two, two grease bearings in there. So when you have that, that pinion gear directly drive to the spool shaft, there's so much power and you don't have any kind of torquing issues when the, bait, or when the reel is under load. So if you're throwing you know, big swim baits, big deep diving crankbaits, you don't, you're not gonna feel as much resistance when, uh, when you're cranking on it. So overall, just gonna have so much power packed into this reel. And then obviously when you're fighting a fish, you're flipping into heavy mats and you're trying to crank a big fish out with 10 pounds of weeds with them, you're gonna be able to crank on this reel and it's gonna have tons and tons of power. Just a phenomenal uh, reel from Shimano, the new Bantam MGLA. That's gonna wrap up today's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. As always, for more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.